we will now take care of the displaying the kind of the, the cart information, the number of products in the cart, and also the link that goes to the cart. Let's go to 100%. So we already have a simple layout prepared. And so why do we have two versions? So we have two spans. One span contains the, the image of the card with span showing like zero products. And then we have another span with the text warning class that makes it uh, kind of yellow, orange. And then we have image again, but and span that shows the number of products in the card. So why do we have two? We have two variants, like two, two versions of this, so that when the card is empty, we can display the gray version. And when there are products in the card, we can display the orange yellow version that is more visible, so that we highlight the fact that card contains products. So, and to implement that, we will use cart link function. So let's select uh, the, the link itself. So it's like a now link. That's a bootstrap uh, kind of component. So let's select that and add cart link. And this action doesn't create a template. It simply outputs the, the information in place where, wherever we add it on. So, okay, show if empty. The element that is shown if the cart is empty. For us, this will be the first span, the gray span. Show if not empty. This will be the second orange span. And then subtotal, the element for displaying the card subtotal amount, we won't use here because we don't really have the space to, to write that. It. It's kind of maybe too much for, for this layout. So we won't use it. And then count, we will display in the second, like in the, within the second orange span, we have a span, another span, where we will display this information. And we don't need to display the count in the first gray version because that will always be zero, right? Because this is only shown if there are no uh, products in the card. And then we can change the Okay, the, the, count, the way how, how the text is written, count text. So let, let's just leave it like that and see what happens. And then we, we can change it if necessary. So let, let's export and go to the page. So we have 11 items in our card. So how would we change this to actually use the same design, the same layout as here, where we use kind of um, parentheses and just display the number? So we would, we need to change the count text. So use percent the as placeholder for count. So we will use percent the and another percent d is we just want to display the number, no, no words next to it. So let's, let's try. So now it is 11. But what about the parentheses? Well, we selected the second span. And I will open the code. We selected the second span as a place for displaying the count. 
and that means the whole content of this span will be removed. But if we want to keep the like the parentheses, then what we do is we do we enter another span, span within the span within the span, and that's completely legal in HTML around the number, around the zero. Okay, and now on the action, we will select not like the 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 span we had before, but this inner span that only contains the number. Okay, done. Export, reload, and here it is. The number is now displayed in parentheses. And I just remember there is also another way, which is maybe simpler. So we can get rid of this span that we just added and go back to how we had it before. And then we just modify, okay, we have to select now the, the correct span. So we just add parentheses to this text. Like this. Okay, and this didn't work out so well. Oh yeah, I know why not. Because we are using the um, kind of the parentheses. Then we check the code. Pingro is assuming that this is some kind of function call. And as a result, it doesn't quote this information. You see here, this is just like, uh, it's not a string, but it, it's like trying to call a function. So if we get this, one solution would be to add quotes here. And then let's see the code. And now it is properly um, in wrapped with, with quotes. So let's save. And here it is. It has the same effect uh, like we accomplished by adding an extra spin. So okay, then this, this is a link that takes us to the cart. And you know, often like the shops, they have this kind of fancy um, component that like on hover will display a mini cart with uh, items right here on, on the main page. So at the moment, that's not possible to customize in Pine Grow, but it is on our roadmap. So at the moment when this course is recorded, that is not yet implemented but it is on our roadmap and it should be done soon. And then it will also be possible to use Pangro interactions to hook up like the interactive display of the card um, and stuff like that. But at the moment it's not yet possible. So if you need it, you can use a plugin or, or implement it with custom code. Okay, so what happens if we click here? Mm, nothing, right? Everything is hard-coded and we can't see our card. So that's something to take care of in the next video.